I read that you were homeless and suffered from addiction. How did your life spiral out of control like that? Um, you know, there was a lot of, uh, there, was, there was abuse in my childhood and, um, uh, uh, you know, low self-esteem, childhood depression and, 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 uh, you know, my, my, um, uh, you know, my, 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 there was fertile ground in my life to be, to become, uh, addicted to alcohol and drugs, you know, because mm -hmm. I, I had a hard time dealing with life on life's terms, you know, at an early age. So, uh, when I, you know, I, I found refuge in alcohol and drugs made me feel better. You know, it made me feel good. Drugs mm -hmm. and alcohol make everybody feel good. Yeah. That's why, that's why people get high, <laughs> you know. Um, yes. But, uh, you know, I, uh, uh, you know, instead, of, I, I thought I was, I went from using drugs and alcohol to, 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 to a place where they, they began to use me. And, wow. uh, uh, you know, it, it, it led me to be uh, estranged from my family and, uh, it led me to uh, to a life of uh, homelessness for 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 a period, you know, of time. And, uh, it was a dark a dark period of my life, but I, I don't uh, I don't regret it. You know, I think that once we're allowed to to uh, to come through the difficult experiences of our lives, you know, we have an opportunity to uh, to serve, you know, and to add something uh, to make a, a better contribution, to make a contribution to 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 humanity through our experience and. Uh, and I, and I share it in my music. I share it from the stage, you know. So uh, hopefully, someone hears my music or, or reads these reads these words that that you're writing, and 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 and, and uh, is empowered to to overcome whatever they're uh, dealing with in their lives. Right now, who would you give credit to for helping you turn your life around? Um, first and foremost, you know, the grace of God, really, mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, you know, he, he uh, brought a lot of people into my life who. Uh, showed me how to live, you know. Mm -hmm. So, so there are there are a lot of people that I'm grateful for. You know, okay. I'm grateful for uh, uh, my family that didn't uh, give up on me, and uh, uh, you know, and, uh, and again, and the grace of God, man, and and, uh, and all the people who have helped lift me up, you know, right? Who helped me come back, you know, into the fold, you know. So right. I'm very grateful. Now, I'm pretty sure you heard of Ted Williams, the homeless guy with the golden voice. Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. Since you've been in a similar yeah. situation, um, what advice would you give him? Um, I really would, you know, I don't know his, I don't know his whole story. Mm -hmm. um, I've only caught bits and pieces of it on, on television, but what I would say is that, you know, Fortunately, I had the, the uh, fortunately I had the, the, the privilege of going through my addiction before I had any notoriety. Okay. So, um, um, so I, that can be, uh, you know, as we all know, that can be tricky. Yes. You know, I would tell Ted to, you know, to go sit down somewhere and, and work <laughs> on himself, you know, and get better. Right. And uh, and and leave all this other stuff, you know, and, and all these other people who are. You know, who are in his life, you know, who, who may be or maybe not, I don't know the situation, you know, but I'm sure there's somebody, you know, you know, cheering him on to, you know, to, to you know, to be a reality TV show or be out here, you know, in, in, in the public eye, you know, and, and, and right now, you know, may not be the time for that, you know, now might be the time to just, to just, you know, sit down somewhere and, and, and heal, 